I'm at King's Cross Station in London where I'm going to catch a train in a little while. But one of the nice things about visiting King's Cross is these beautiful arches at the front of the station. I think arches are fabulous structures. If you have a look at those arches, you'll see mortar between the bricks and you might think that the mortar is needed to glue everything together. But it's not needed at all to do that job. As long as you stack up the bricks in the right shape for the load you're going to put on them, they will support that load without any glue whatsoever. To explain a bit more about how the arches work, we'll go inside. Right, we see lots of arch, arch bridges. The arch bridge is a very clever thing. We can take a load of loose pieces like this. We don't need to glue them together. And if we make them the right shape and stack them up together, we can take away the support at the bottom and we have a bridge that will stay up. And even if I put some load onto it. Now, there's various ways to think about why this bridge stays up, but one way to think about it is that this curved structure here is too wide to fit through this gap if we straighten it out. And when we apply a load to it, we're straightening it, we're straightening it out. So it can't possibly fit through the gap that we're asking it to pass through, and that's why it stays up. And an important thing is that the middle of the bridge is higher than the sides of the bridge. Now that being the case, it would perhaps be foolish to try to build an arch bridge where the middle was lower than the sides. Okay, it's quite clearly not going to work, certainly when I take away the support there's no way this bridge is going to stay up and I really shouldn't be able to apply a force to it. So why is this bridge staying up? Well, the answer is because I've cheated a little bit. If you're building a bridge, an arch structure, the important thing is that it should contain the structure that you need. So if I apply a force to this bridge, and we forget about the weight of the bridge, the actual structure I need is two straight lines from my finger to the supports. And those, there are two straight lines that lie inside the structure and do the job for me. So there is in fact the right arch is present inside this upside down arch, there's a right way up arch inside it which is supporting the load. 